Hey there, thanks for tuning in to Duck Bricks. I'm Chris, and LEGO has just revealed the new BTS Dynamite set. This is a set from LEGO Ideas. You can see some of the mid-size sets over here, which is a program where fans can submit their own creation that can maybe be turned into a set if it reaches up to 10,000 votes, which BTS did and eventually was made into an official LEGO model. While I'm a major LEGO fan, I'm gonna be honest, I don't really know that much about BTS, I don't follow them, but I wanted to make this video as informative and as detail-oriented as possible, so to do the heavy lifting, I have recruited Arizo Studios, who is well known among the BTS and ARMY fan community for actually having her artwork inspire a real tattoo that one of these singers got. So she is really big, she's really cool, she's thankfully my real life friend, so we were able to get this set up, which she is basically commenting on the set itself. We'll be able to walk you through all of the details and all the little easter eggs that I certainly would not have noticed and I'll be coming in to talk about the the fun stuff like price and value and you know that sort of stuff. So let's get right into the reveal of the LEGO Ideas BTS set. Okay, so this is the LEGO Ideas BTS Dynamite set. It will be retailing for 100 US dollars, 100 euros, and 90 British pounds, and will be sold quote unquote from early March 2023. There is no exact sale date. Specifically, it was supposed to be March 1st. However, they did not want it to conflict with South Korea's Independence Movement Day, and they did not want to link it in any way to that special day or special event. So LEGO stores have been approved to start selling the product at the start of the month on March 1st. However, they basically have their own discretion, so some stores will be offering it March 1st, other stores may just decide to offer it later. So officially, I would imagine that it would appear on lego.com on March 1st, but if you're wanting to get this in store, I would recommend calling ahead and just asking when your local store will actually have this in stock. This is a major, major release. Obviously, this is an 18 plus set coming with 749 pieces with a donut shop, ice cream truck, and record store with detachable buildings. So each of the buildings are modular and detachable, so you can actually choose how you want to display everything. And of course, all seven minifigures of the band members wearing the outfits that they wore during the Dynamite music video. This is really, really monumentous for the LEGO group because it's basically their very first set that is specifically focused on a real world band and set of icons. Obviously, they've done music theme sets before with the ill-fated video, but this is really the only one that they've really focused on real world people and a real music video depicted in a LEGO set. And obviously will probably be a major, major success because the fan base for BTS is absolutely massive. Speaking of the fan base, it is my pleasure to introduce my good friend and collaborator, Arizo Studios, who will take it away and introduce you to many of the special fan favorite details of this set. And as we're all excited, before we get into the full set, let's look at the minifigures of our Bangtan boys. We have here our complete seven members of the group, RM, Suga, J-Hope, Jin, followed by the line of Jimin, V, and Jungkook who are ready to light it up. I have to say that this is an absolute win because of the faithful details in every LEGO piece that ARMY can look out for because we know them by heart and new fans can adore. LEGO managed to get their looks from face to hair signatures to the actions on point and their outfits are the colorful iconic pieces worn in the music video. Though I think it would have been a more fun feature if they also added their pastel outfits and casual fits to the selection, but overall I'm in love because they managed to showcase the funk and disco magic BTS is all about in Dynamite. From a LEGO fan perspective, it is really cool to get a specially new molded hairpiece specifically for the hairstyles of the members of the band. We get it in both black and dark brown, which is really nice to see, as well as a ton of other recolors of existing hairpieces, which, when compared to the actual real world people, look really accurate. So I'm a big fan of the minifigures themselves. Would have been cooler maybe to get printed legs, but I do think that we were able to get so many different printed faces, I was very worried that they would be reusing existing faces like they do with a a lot of minifigures nowadays, but thankfully they went the extra mile and really gave us a lot of unique faces to depict these minifigures, so I'm a big fan of how they were able to do that. And all those recolored hair pieces and new molds for hair pieces look fantastic as well. We'll let Arizo Studios continue and take it away when we get into the set. With the minifigures out of the way, let's talk about the set. Get more excited because the entire set brings you dynamite in every piece and block. Dynamite is the group's first full song in English in their discography. Released on August 21st of 2020, 
PTS released the song to remind everyone about the little things that make life worth living. With the global coronavirus pandemic ongoing, they hope this will be a healing song. Disco, funk, and soul influence is the inspiration of dynamite throughout the design of music, fashion, and architecture, referencing Michael Jackson in a timeless retro setting. The set replicates each part in great detail of the original creation shown in the video. You can tell it came from passion, creativity, and fun. Here, we can see the disco building attached with the court where they danced, the burger and donut shop where Jay poses and Joker comes out having a bite, and the ice cream truck where we swooned over V, the record store where RM sang, and a part of what makes the store extra special features the 2x2 tiles of three of their records, Map of the Soul 7, Wings, and of course, Dynamite. And lastly, the significant stage wherein they performed wearing their disco outfits. And if you caught the B-side version of the music video, this is where they did the meme. Speaking of dancing on stage, I love how the platform gives us enough area to move and play around with the seven members. No doubt, their dance choreography is impactful in message and trends. BTS reference signature moves like from the King of Pop while adding their flavor. Their performance was wildly praised by fellow great dancers worldwide and by Prince, the son of King of Pop himself, Michael Jackson. From a LEGO fan's perspective, this is a really cool mechanism where as you can see you can twist the gear on the side and it appears that all seven members of the group can actually rotate at once, allowing them to dance in a synchronized fashion. It's not something LEGO has really done ever before for any sort of music video type set, and I really like it. I'm really curious to see exactly how that is constructed, especially with the gears to allow them to all turn at once. I find this set cool, amazing, and every compliment I can think of because it's designed by fans for fans. It's a celebration of BTS in an unexpected collaboration between LEGO and ARMY community. I think Dynamite is perfect for the chosen set because of its representation and history. But maybe it would also be great if LEGO introduces sets from the Love Yourself era if they continue to do a line of BTS sets in the future. Because this, the Dynamite set, is successful in highlighting the essence of hope fun, and creative synergy that BTS is as a group. It would also be a treat to see how ARMY will light this up while building. And that's all. Slay. Light it up. Indeed, slay and light it up. Thank you, Arizo Studios, for coming in with the background and knowledge of BTS. I would not have been able to do this reveal video without you, so everyone give a big thank you to Arizo Studios, my good friend, for being able to help me out with this video because I honestly know really nothing about BTS. The thing that I can speak to, however, is predictions as to how this set will do in the market as well as talk a little bit about price. And you know what isn't slay? the price. Unfortunately, this set is 100 US dollars. Yes, that is right. This is $100. And honestly, I'm not really seeing the value there. It comes with 749 pieces, giving it a pretty abysmal price per part ratio. Now that being said, it does introduce a brand new mold in the form of the specialized hairpiece, which is very signature Korean style, which I really do like. And of course, those minifigures are really detailed. We got whole sorts of new prints for the torsos and the faces, so a lot of budget went into just making the figures, which I think was a smart use of budget. They definitely had to spend a good amount of time and money getting the likenesses of the characters right. Unfortunately though, the build is a little bit lacking, especially for $100. It almost feels like a LEGO Friends or LEGO City set, where as you can see from the back, it's really shallow, there is not a lot of interior, most of it is just the exterior part of the stage, and it honestly feels like a set that maybe should be closer to $60 or $70. $100 is a lot for this, and I don't really know how to feel about that. That being said, in terms of predicting how I think this will do in the overall market as a whole, the tweet that teased this set became the most liked tweet that LEGO has ever published within the matter of days. I think it was even within a day. Obviously, there is massive, massive excitement and demand for this set. And as we heard from an ARMY member, soldier, trooper, a fan of BTS, this is very much going to be crowd-pleasing, especially for people who are into BTS, who know the band, who know the songs, and are big supporters of the group. And I definitely feel that because there is such a strong fan base for that, even outside of the LEGO community, where there's honestly not a lot of intersection, I definitely feel that that will propel this set to success, 
this may actually become one of the best selling sets ever made. And I'm really curious what the ramifications are on the LEGO group if this actually sells really well. Because of course, if this does so well, will LEGO make more BTS sets? Will LEGO collaborate with more bands, with more K-pop bands, or with other bands to produce LEGO sets based off of them? Or will they just try to focus on this one for LEGO ideas and see how it goes? Regardless, I think this is a really cool tribute set for people who are fans of the band, for ARMY, and it definitely is a really well done likeness of the characters for the minifigures in terms of the presentation and style. It just really doesn't feel like $100 to me, but I will say, I don't think that's going to stop this set from selling well whatsoever. I can imagine that on the day that this launches, everybody is going to go crazy to get this, so it certainly will be a very interesting time. I'm curious if LEGO.com will be able to keep up with the demand. But of course, comment down below, what do you think? Do you think the set will do well? What do you think of the price of the minifigures? And if you're a fan of BTS, if you are ARMY, if you're a member of the ARMY, do let me know down below what you think of the set as well. And again, big, big thank you to my friend Arizo Studios for coming in and helping me out with the background and all the different details in the set, which I definitely would have missed, but I really do appreciate having an actual fan of BTS be able to come in and showcase this for all of you. So thank you. I had no idea that you were this big in the ARMY and BTS space. Space. You can see some incredible artwork that she works on on the Instagram page here that's at Arizos. And what's even cooler is that one of the members of BTS has actually seen her artwork and gotten a tattoo inspired by it. So that is very, very impressive. That is so, so cool. I can imagine just what it means to be like to be a fan and then have the artist actually see your work. So you can see some of the incredible artwork here. Of course, all of these are linked in the description below. And thank you so much for helping me out with this video because I would have had no idea what to talk about when pertaining to a BTS set. So I'm very thankful that you were able to come in and help out with this. So do go check her out, linked in the description below, and uh, check out the art prints as well, because these are, these are fantastic. All right, and with that, we have summed up our look at LEGO BTS Dynamite coming to stores March 1st. Thanks for tuning into Duck Bricks. Be sure to comment down below what do you think of the set. Is it worth the value? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Are you going to be buying this on day one or maybe waiting for a possible discount? I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like and subscribe for even more LEGO news, reviews, discussion, and analyses coming your way very soon. Bye for now. And thank you again to Arizo Studios for really helping me out with this video.